Hi everybody, this is Bonani. Welcome to my channel. I'm Alam and on this channel, I spoke about reality shows. It's a lot of fun. Basis is a lot of fun. I was happy to have you guys. Cool, my name is Alam Mondano. If it is your first time joining us today on this channel and you think this is your home, there's a subscribe button. Language is answered. I think there is other ways to support the channel. You can like the video. You can thank us. I'm Mary. I'm going to get on this video. You can watch an advert or two. Listen, you guys. Today. I want to talk about Nganele uh, season one, uh, but I want to focus on Untombi. Okay, I want to focus on Untombi and Nonzoage Luntanta. Okay, my one of my this this is my favorite couple when it comes to uh, this show. Okay, like I said on my other video, Nganele is a spin off show from Momakote Are You the One season one? Now it's like looking at the couples after uh, Momakote Are You the One? Okay. So, this is the thing when I watched this last uh, episode, you guys, that for me, I thought that uh, it was confusing for me when it comes to Untombi, okay? Because she has always been clear, Untombi, because she has a child, uh, but the child is not Tlantla's child. So, she had a child before she, um, it wasn't before she met Tlantla but they were not an item at the time she knew Tlantla from back at school and then went and dated uh, someone else had a child and then you know they i guess met again with Tlantla then they started their relationship that is, that is how i understand uh they are meeting <laughs> as a couple how they met as a couple here english anyway you guys so now uh they live together which the parents are against but keep it listen i'm one of the very few people that are not against to keep it there i feel like it's a it's another way of getting in to know a person before you get into that thing that is called a marriage you know before you actually comment but i know that a lot of people don't really I agree with that and I know that traditionally it's not supposed to happen like that you're not supposed to live with the person before a low ball and then shot okay they want us to get surprised by these people because some of the things those was born in shot doing here is a surprise okay so they live together but Untlanda has always expressed his intentions uh, in terms of wanting to marry Untombi and uh, but together is that whole thing of the family around Tembo, which is the family uh, yeah Keuntlanda not liking Untombi, okay? But Keuntlanda has pushed to a point where he has gone Wayo Tela Kazulu, which is Isbongo Sake Untombi. So Wakela basically Amalobolo, so the starting point is Amalobolo, okay? And uh Again, I think everything went well there. There was a mention of a child because the expectation of Ntlantla's family when they were coming to pay Lobolo was that they were going to pay for the child as well because they are thinking Ntlantla is going to take over as a father of the child. But uh, and then there was that thing it was Ntlantla and doesn't believe that he should do that. He believes Uti, the child has a father. The father should continue, you know, uh, looking after the child why should he be responsible for another man's child and all of that okay so but the lobolo negotiation thing went well and this episode was after the the, the lobolo negotiations okay now this is the conversation that was taking place between Untombi and Untlanta. they were talking about Inga and Tombi. Tombi is the one that initiates a conversation but this is the thing that I don't understand about this conversation. I don't understand how, if you are a woman with a child and you love a man that is not a father to your child, and and then Bese Uba engaged to a man, you accept a ring from this man, meaning that you are saying, yes, I will marry you. The man wants to marry you. You are agreeing that you will marry them. But you even go a step further where you um, you allow him to go Ayokokilobola. And then after that, you are sitting down having a conversation with him about your child. I didn't understand that, you guys, because I feel like before you accept a ring, if I have a child and a, a man is proposing a relationship or a marriage, 
before i say yes to this man i have to understand where we stand when it comes to my child okay so where, where is my child in all of this okay is my child going to live with me is she going to live uh, are you expecting me to leave my child back at home are you you know are you going to take are you going to help me at all with this child or you don't want anything to do with this child i would like to know where my child stands in that whole thing you know for a woman to accept a ring and even accept a man paying a lobola for her and then once all of that is done now you want to have a conversation and being like so are you going to take care of my child i feel like it's a wrong time to have that conversation okay obviously Lantla's view is this is not my child and i do not hate her but i do not feel like i want to take responsibility for your child if the father is still alive then let the father take care of a child yet he is not being clear in terms of like where is the child going to live is the child ever going to live with undombe at any point is he going to be comfortable with that he is feeling like he's going to have a hard time parenting this child because it's a sensitive thing even if he's shouting at her out of just being frustrated the child is going to think that it's because he's not the father i just feel like that like, is just not willing to take that responsibility but i feel like Kuntombi, i didn't understand why he she is asking him after the lobola thing because what if the the answer is not what she likes you know it kind of made me feel like it's that thing of putting uh ama dreams or umendo and umshado uh, before I need because because I felt like if it's so important for Ntombi to know where a child is in terms of this relationship, then she shouldn't have said yes to Unlanda wanting to marry her before she knew where he stood when it came to uh, when it came to her child. She should have understood. She should have made sure that she understands would see what is Ntlanda's view on the child and also what is he going to be comfortable with. Okay is it going to be comfortable with him with her just going and spending time with the child without him is it going to be comfortable with her bringing the, the child to their home all of that should have been uh discussed and taken care of before lobolo before uh, the engagement before all of that because then what is the point and if he says that he doesn't want to live with your child and he doesn't want to participate in your child's life then what you know but like i said on my other video i do feel like when we watch these shows especially when it comes to makoti are you the one when it comes to nganele there's always lessons for us women to 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 learn especially like younger women i do feel like we have to put our children first and uh and the needs of your children first Uguti umuntu that does not mean Uguti now you abandon all things you know now whatever he wants if he wants nganiyam Uguti sale kaya agafun Uguti gibone tapofuna gibone once a month or once a year he's he's not comfortable with me speaking to the father and all of that whatever he wants i'll do it as long as he marries me i feel like that's not putting your child first it's like if Inganeako becomes a nuisance now in your life because it's almost like Ingane now prevents you from uh, that Goliako Yogu to Funukshata. And I feel like as well, it's not fair to a man that you meet uh, and then accept their engagement, accept Ugutsuba uh, Kokilobo Lakini. And then after that, after they've done that, now you're like, so what? what so what do you think about my child where is my child in all of this so you know have you considered my child have you considered your child when you know i felt like it was unfair for Undombe to have that conversation with Untlanta after Untlanta has paid lobola you know to say good so in an am like so are you going to be comfortable with me spending time with in an army and her father because when you don't want to take the role of a father those conversations should actually take place before you accept so i feel like it was unfair to untlanta but at the same time i feel like untombi does she really like put her child first it's almost like untlanta comes before everything you know and sometimes isn't it angelo they shock me who there are women sometimes that a relationship with a man will come before their children 
you know the well-being of their children as long as in shatil as long as in kanile whatever happens to my child and that's why we find even our children sometimes washia ekaya beshugumezega komalume and all of that because it's sicha he ugu ya go shata you know I do feel like Untlantla will probably make a great stepfather, but I do feel like he is intimidated by the idea of being uh, of taking a father role to Ndombi's child. And it's difficult for someone to do that if they haven't been a father. I think that if they had, uh, or once they have a child of their own, like the two of them have a child, and he has that experience of being a father to his own child, maybe he might be open to being uh to taking that father role to uh ingane uh, and ombi but i always feel like it's tricky because what if they have the uh they have their own children now between the two of them but they still have Untombi still has that child that she left back at home and Untlanta is here being really like a, a great father they build a great family there is still a child that is left out of the equation you know i don't know how people are able to do that though because i i think for me it would uh i would feel guilty that there's a child that is not part of this beautiful family that i have built if i'm going to marry a man that is going to say listen i'm not comfortable with your child coming here in this equation i just want you but i don't want your child i want to build a family with you but not uh with that child that child must go to the father's family side i feel like as a woman i will struggle with that but i do feel like for some women because ukshata is so important to them they are willing to sacrifice that part of it because i do feel like every woman wants their ch children to be close to them you know you don't want to leave your child back at home but if in marriage your child is not wanted you know a lot of the times women choose marriage you know so please i want to hear what you guys think about this was it a fair time uh the t was the timing correct for her to to have that conversation with Untland, especially after he has paid ilobolo for her to say okay now what's gonna happen with my child should those conversations not take place before my engagement and all of that so that you know where you stand when you say yes to the marriage you know what kind of a marriage you're saying yes to because you know if this guy is going to take that role of being a, a father figure to your child or not you are clear before you say yes or is it just a way of tricking uh, men to say, okay, let me just pretend as if my child is okay over there by my mom's house. But then once I say, okay, let me just pretend as if my child is okay over there by my mom's house. But then once I say, he does not have a choice because he's already paid in Lobolo. Anyway, you guys, I want to hear about it in the comment section. Please do not forget to like this video before Pumegiona share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers.